Um, we have been here on the mountain probably going on 20 years now. Um, the unique part about us is we are part of, of ski school. The program runs on the weekends. We are here Saturdays and Sundays. We run two sessions in the morning from 10 to 12 and from 1 to 3. Our clients range from anything from very, very mild um, attention deficit disorder, autistic spectrum, all the way up to people with spinal cord injuries, cerebral palsy, stroke, multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. The program is great in that we can offer um, lessons to anybody, any, pretty much anybody that needs an adaptation to a lesson we can handle. We're always looking for people to come help us out. Yeah. Our staff is getting older. Um, we've all been around for, for quite some time. So it's great this year. We've got a couple of newer, younger um, people. But always looking for people to kind of come out and help us out. For those who have good balance that can stand, we will use what we call ski bras or tethers. I'm sure a lot of people have seen them where we tie the, tie the skis together in the front and then an instructor, um, we will put tethers on the instructor can control the ski from, from behind. Mm -hmm. We can control where they turn, when they turn, and their speed with that. That gives them the opportunity to learn, learn the movement of skiing without the frustration of falling. They can't follow simple directions. We can get them into that motor pattern where they are skiing, that their body can learn it, um, instead of using words to teach them as well too. Um, Jack fell off a balcony three and a half years ago and he was injured pretty bad. He was in a coma for about a month. He was up at Moss Rehab for another two and a half months. He had to relearn how to walk, speak, swallow, just about everything. And when he, you know, got up to Bryn Mawr Rehab and they mentioned that Jack could go skiing, he was so excited because it was the first time he felt like he was getting to do something he really enjoyed prior to his accident. So it gave him his freedom without mom and dad and an experience that he already loved doing. So it, it was a great thing for Jack to do. Mom, on the other hand, was nervous and, whoa, wait, Jack, I don't know, you know, but it wound up being a wonderful thing for Jack. He really enjoys it. Yeah, the, the adaptive skiing program has really um, improved both physically towards his coordination as well as emotionally. He has a, a greater self-esteem and that he feels normal uh, and not uh, disabled or anything of that nature. And the adaptive uh, ski program here at Jack Frost is really excellent and we have told his, um, his doctors uh, at the rehab centers where he goes about this program and they're very impressed by it. And they said it, it would greatly help with all of his therapy. It, it just gives him the motions, building the core, helping all his muscle, strength and things like that. And when Jack got the opportunity, he just loves it. He loves working with everyone here. It's, you know, a great opportunity for him.